Look at the grumpy little face. Oh my god. Today we are unboxing some frogs that I never ever ever thought I would have the opportunity to own. But before we get into the unboxing, I just wanted to say that today's video is sponsored by Morph Market. Morph Market is an amazing place to find exactly what you are looking for. So in my case, I was looking for rain frogs. I just typed in rain frogs and guess what? A whole bunch came up. This was actually my first time using Morph Market ever to order these guys. Now I did pay for these with my own money to be clear and the seller did not know that this is like a Morph Market sponsored video. But I have to say that everything went extremely smoothly from talking to the seller to finding out how they're caring for these frogs to what these frogs are eating, the actual transaction itself and the shipping, everything was perfect. Again, this seller had no idea that I was even a YouTuber or anything when I purchased these and everything went amazing. So great experience using Morph Market for the first time. So having said that, here is the box. I am so super nervous. I just want to make sure these guys are okay. It's super early. It's like way earlier than usual when I film because I did not want these guys to wait in the box at all. I've never even seen these in person. Nice and warm. Awesome. Oh man, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god, look at them. <laughs> Okay, so this is the seller that I actually ended up buying them from. So thank you so much, Bledsoe's Exotics. They were great to uh, order from. And I see that his wife, I think he said, she was the one who was kind of in charge of their care. It's not a ton known about these. These are pretty much newer and more rare to the hobby. So I asked them if they could give me some directions on how they've been caring for them just because there's not that much info out there. And since they've been having success, I think they said for three months taking care of these guys, I just wanted to know what they're doing so I can keep doing it. Well ventilated glass tank. Real quick, we are actually using a bin. So this is not their permanent place of residence. This is just what I wanted just so I can watch them. It's gonna be a little bit smaller than what I think I'll ultimately put them in. Although they are really small little guys. So we'll have to see. It is well ventilated though. I had Mr. Tarantula Cat cut these out and then I went ahead and put on this like mesh stuff. They do layered substrate. They use Reptisoil at the bottom and cocoa fiber at top. So I will be using Reptisoil with a mix of play sand. I know this kind of deviates from what they're doing Doing, but a friend of mine, Brie, has done like a ton of research on them and she suggested I use play sand and topsoil. So I'm just gonna take the best of both worlds and combine them. And it says they provide them with a shallow water dish. I will be doing that as well. Change their water daily. Okay, and these ones are feeding on small crickets. I did talk to another seller and they were saying that theirs are eating small crickets and fruit flies also. They're nocturnal, so feed them at night. No UVB or heat lamps. And misting the tank twice daily. That's exactly what Brie also said. And make sure this substrates damp but not soaking wet. Okay, so this, this is great. Let's go ahead and put the substrate in here. And again, this is gonna be a really simple temporary setup so that I can observe them easier and like make sure everything's okay before I set up like a whole big tank for them. But I still want it to be as comfortable and nice as possible for them. Now my friend Bree said that drainage is very important. You want the substrate to be damp but not soaking wet. So a good way to achieve that is with a drainage layer. So I've got some hydro balls and we are going to make a nice drainage layer for these guys. Don't they look like crunchy cocoa puffs? Like it's just so tempting. Like here's just another piece of mesh. Maybe we'll do reptosoil and then sand and then we'll kind of mix it. We can add more reptosoil if we need to. Bree said 80% sand. This is actually looking like a really good texture. So this texture is like perfect. It's really sandy, it's damp, it's not soaking wet, but it's like going to hold their burrows really well. I think this texture is good. 
So let's go ahead and just add a couple hides, something like this, you know, something simple that they can burrow in. I'm going to add a really shallow water dish, but I, I need to go up to the store and I need to go buy a new one of these, just like one of these like little pot drainers. This one's very dirty. As you can see, I'm not gonna use that obviously, but I'm gonna go get another one of those today and put it right here. So let's go ahead and put these little froggies in here. So, I don't know how well these guys are gonna do long term. All rain frogs in the hobby are wild caught, and in the past I have had terrible luck with wild caught frogs. They seem to be the most delicate. Hopefully now that they're like in the hobby more, people are finally going to be able to breed them in captivity. Oh my God, they're so little. Hi, I wanna see your face. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, the little froggy. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Oh my gosh. Now these guys are communal by the way, so they do well in groups. But yeah, look at the grumpy little face. Oh my gosh. Hi. I'm trying not to get like too terribly attached right off the bat because I have had my heart broken by a wild caught frog several times, but it is just so cute. Like how can you not be obsessed? Hi, there you go. You want your friend? <laughs> They're very calm. Look at you, are you already finding a spot to burrow? Yes. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, look at you. Oh, you like it. first night these guys ended up burrowing but coming up to eat a bunch of crickets and I was really excited. I had so much fun watching them all weekend that I decided to contact the vendor and ask them if they had any more left. They only had one left and this male was also living with these two so I ended up purchasing him as well. We're gonna go ahead and unbox him. As you see he arrived just right, perfectly fine, and he was reunited with his friends. And yeah, so that was awesome. This is such a fun unboxing. I am really happy to finally have some of these. I've admired them on the internet a ton, but like I said, I have had some experiences with wild caught frogs and these are all wild caught. Any of the ones you see available, wild caught. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to try to get some of these and also know that their care is still not totally the code is not totally cracked like we're still learning about this species so but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget i'm an instagram to use probably way too much as at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there i also have a website everything links are down below i will see you guys soon let's get into the patreon pet picks